is the Seaberg 1000 BMC1 that I just finished restoring and put back up on eBay, or put up on eBay. Uh, right now we're going to shut it off for just a second so we can tell you exactly what we've done. Tone arm lifts up and of course makes a little pop noise when it shuts off. We have cleaned the needles and taken the needles out and cleaned the contacts with the oxid. We have used Rubber Renew on all the rubber parts, all the rubber flywheels and capstans. We've used denatured alcohol on all the metal flywheels and capstans. We replaced the spring and adjusted a couple of other springs so the tension is proper. And uh, we kind of buffed and polished the whole cabinet and made it kind of look a lot better. We also replaced, as you can see, the foam trim so that the cabinet seals tight whenever you close it and it is tight it's a little hard you gotta give it a little push but uh, it's better than letting dust in and ruin your records as you know these are very fine grooves on these machines um, let me show you a little bit about it there we got a brand new key that goes for it show you the key works there we go and I'm gonna try to go around here show you the cabinet has a few scratches on it but for as old as this machine is, it's see the shine on it? It's in really good shape. I'm having to go all the way back here. Uh, with the purchase of this machine, not only do you get the machine itself, but custom-made cable right here that goes into an RCA mono hookup, into an RCA splitter, and you get, well actually you don't get that one, you get a brand new one still in the wrapper. There we go. And that's a phono preamplifier allows allowing you to be able to put this and plug this up to any stereo system, actually anything with an RCA audio input on it. So that's the wiring and the preamp right there. Uh, two in, two out, and if you have a hum, here's a ground connection that you can ground it, but usually these don't have hums on them, so it's something you shouldn't have to worry about. Also throwing in is a never before played six record replacement set Seaberg 1000 basic 66 library for you to get started I'll also be putting up other Seaberg records up on eBay so if you want to add to your collection and let's just kind of swerve around here see the shine on that we cleaned up the cabinet the handles nice and good nice and strong on there and say we polished the chrome on it all right, let's zoom in down here on the label on the machine. Okay, now see this little plug right here is in case you have one of the original preamplifiers. Let me show you this real quick. That's one of the original ones. The problem is finding one that works real well um, and not paying an arm and a leg for it. So uh, I've, only, I've got like seven of them. I paid over a couple of hundred dollars for, well, probably most close to five hundred dollars for all of them and only one of them works one of them works perfectly okay so back over here to the front we open up the case now the two plates that are on here are not the ones that are going with the unit uh, those I'm cleaning up right now and polishing and putting down new foam but we're gonna go ahead and turn the unit back on and so that you can see how effortlessly it lifts up the records there's just a few records. These records, of course, are not included in the auction. The ones in the sealed set or in the uh, near mint set are the ones that are going with it. These are my demo records on here. See how quiet that thing is? I bet you thought the sound had gone off. It was so quiet. So you can see it play the top of the record, that was the bottom. Now see it lands perfectly right in the, the entrance groove so that you get the whole song.
All right, I don't know if I mentioned that we uh, we lubricated. Let me go ahead and uh, reject it one more time, and I'll tell you what I did. We lubricated the motor in all four spots that you're supposed to. As you can see back there, there's the chart teaches you how to lubricate it and how often. We use liquid bearings. You can get that off of the internet. But it's good for six months, and then you need to keep lubricating it every six months. All right, there we go. Seaberg BMC1. Let the bidding begin. And thank you for your time. Bye-bye.